Hey, if you like my videos, you might also like my comedy series, YouTube Blue, which premieres every Saturday on the YouTube Blue YouTube channel. Go check out the link in the description and the card above to watch the latest episode. Now on with the video. Another big piece of news for this week is that Green Arrow and the Canaries, the planned spinoff for Arrow, has officially been cancelled. So let's talk about this a little bit. So first of all, this was announced to be in development late 2019 uh, when uh, Arrow, it, it was pretty much announced that Arrow would be ending after season 8. It, they pretty much immediately announced that they were working on a spinoff with Green Arrow and the Canaries. So then they filmed this pilot episode that aired as a backdoor pilot for the second to last episode of Arrow earlier this year. And after that, there was basically no news on whether or not the pilot would get picked up. So the it actually had really good ratings for the season, uh, but yeah, there was no news on it getting picked up for months and months and months. There was even a news story that ran like a month or two ago about how like even the actors in the project had no idea what was going on with it. And now it's finally been revealed that it has been canceled and that it's officially been passed on. It's something that they were pretty confident they weren't going to be doing for a long time apparently and it's just now in the new year that the options uh, in the contracts for all the actors in the pilot uh, have officially expired uh, meaning that like they're they're not going to be doing the show for sure now uh, so that, that's kind of what that means uh, that's why it's officially canceled now and not earlier because according to Mark Guggenheim who is a big player in the uh, Arrowverse shows uh, and was a big part of the Green Arrow and the Canaries pilot said that they really decided that they weren't going to be doing it uh, uh, back in the first half of 2020 uh, during the pandemic and that the pandemic was a big uh, part of why it got canceled. I, I'm guessing that another big part of it was room on the CW schedule because they have a ton of shows uh, and it, it's really like Green Arrow and the Canaries could have served as a um, uh, as a replacement for Arrow. It could have uh, served as a replacement for Supergirl, all these things. And they, they just have all these shows going uh, and now they're kind of... Um, they have to kind of pick and choose what's going on. So let's talk about how this affects the future of the Arrowverse. So it's already been announced that Supergirl and Black Lightning will be ending after their next seasons airing this year. But at the same time, this year, Superman and Lois uh, will be premiering. Stargirl, which was previously a technically a DC Universe exclusive, but aired on the CW pretty much immediately after it premiered on DC Universe is now in its second season for its, um, and it's now exclusively with the CW, uh, and new Arrowverse shows are being developed with, uh, Wonder Girl being developed for the CW, as well as Painkiller, a spinoff of Black Lightning. And so, it, it seems that, like, you know, uh, Black Lightning and Supergirl are ending, but at the same time, they have, um, they have Painkiller, which is coming in as the replacement for Black Lightning, and Wonder Girl, uh, which is kind of serving as a replacement for Supergirl because of that female-led franchise. Meanwhile, Superman and Lois is kind of being a replacement for Supergirl, though it does have that one season overlap, but is also being a replacement for Arrow by having that uh, strong male lead in there as well. And a lot of people have been saying that this is marking like uh, the destruction of the Arrowverse, which was kind of inevitable, uh, but I, I don't really think that. So basically the argument is that DC is working on all the streaming stuff for HBO Max, tying directly into the DC Extended Universe. And that with all that stuff that they're doing, there's no room for Arrowverse, and they that DC is no longer interested in having this other universe separate from their movies. Now that could be true, uh, but right now we don't really have that much evidence about it. And the fact is that the Arrowverse shows make a lot of money. Why do you think they have, like, uh, six or seven or it may, might be up to eight now, uh, Arrowverse shows running at once because they make money. If they didn't make money, then it, it wouldn't be running. So that, that that's the thing. Un until the Arrowverse shows stop making money uh, or until they're not making as much money as the uh, stuff on HBO Max, 
uh, they will keep going. So I don't think this does mark the end of the Arrowverse just yet. It just means that um, the CW decided to pass on this particular project. But what do you think? Maybe you disagree with me. Maybe you have other thoughts that you'd like to share. Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for daily videos on the franchise you love. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.